Hey y'all, hey. Welcome to TK TV. I'm your host, Tracy Knight. I put the TK in TK TV. And if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so, so glad you're here. I'm so, so excited. Um, we do, you know, we talk about a few things here and there. We talk about health and wellness. We talk about my Olympic journey. We talk about um, whatever, you know, pops in my mind. And we do, we, we throw in a little Mary Kay in there because I'm an independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay. And, you know, I do what I love and I love what I do. But the reason I do this is because I like to share with other people because, you know, you never know who you might be able to help. And this was put on my heart to do that. So here we are. Now, if you've been here every week, you're a little shocked because it's Tuesday. I know, I know, I know. It's Tuesday, and I am here with the Ozipic update for the week, y'all. Yes. And um, we're actually in my car because I really just pulled up into the driveway to my house. Um, and I haven't gone inside yet, okay? First of all, it's butt crack hot outside. I don't know who turned on high on summer. Okay, I can do some summer, but I don't need to be on high out there. It's just way too hot. And um, I got my air on. I know if I, it's probably cooler. More likely, it's cooler in the house. But, you know, I just want to sit down outside for just a few minutes, get my little vitamin D rays or whatever, while I'm, you know, going over this quick, hopefully quick and short update of what's been going on this past week. Okay, so... First of all, if you haven't done so already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button that's on the bottom left or right. You know, I never know which one it is. Um, like, comment, share the video, okay? And don't forget to subscribe. Um, last count, we were about 129 subscribers. So if everybody go ahead and like that, you know, we good. Anyway, so while I'm on my car... I'm doing this update. And why am I on time with the Ozipic update? You know, usually, y'all know, Tuesdays is a long day for me. Um, starts early, and I'm exhausted. I am exhausted, y'all. I mean, I got that second win for now, but I already know by the time I get in there, you know, get situated for the night and um, um, put some substance in the body. I'm putting the body to bed. I'm, I'm not. I'm tired. I got one more day where I got to get up at 5 a.m., and um, that's tomorrow, so I'm going to bed early. Um, and I, I ain't even been sleeping at 5 a.m., just so y'all know. I ain't been sleeping at 5 a.m. I've been getting up at 4. This morning, I got up at 4.30. <sighs> Hurt my feelings. But anyway, we're going to talk about my Ozipic update. We are an inject. Don't ask me what number, because I ain't in front of the calendar. I want to say 24. 23 or 24. Okay, and I am at the one milligram dosage. All right, I, I, like everybody else, I started off at the 0.25, let my body get acclimated, um, pass a little bit of a hiccup. Um, then I got to 0.5, let my body get acclimated, and then my endocrinologist put me at one, so we're at one. Um, and as I've always tell you guys, really, really quick, the side effects are nausea, um, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, some headaches, and a little bit of exhaustion. Those are the most common ones. I have experienced a few others. I don't even want to know if I, you know, it's not listed in the pamphlet. So I don't know if they're actual side effects, but I can honestly say I have not felt them before I started the Ozempic. I've had some really weird dreams, some really creepy Stephen King creepy type dreams. Um, and there were some good ones, and there were some really weird ones. So, I'm, you know, dreaming a little weird, like, um, uh, and um, uh, as far as the vomiting, you know, um, I, I named my top two side effects, nausea and the vomiting. You guys can figure that out because you're brilliant. I know you are. Anyway, um, but yeah, those kind of things, the exhaustion is real. The mood changes. Oh my God. Now, it may be because I might have been in menopause or something like that because I am of the age for the change. But um, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I'm just realizing that a lot of the stuff that I'm going through, whether it be mental, physical, or emotional, I didn't really... I didn't really notice them before I started the Ozipic journey on the 25th of January of this year. So I don't know. I can't say that they're quote unquote side effects. I've just noticed a difference, a difference in quality of life. Okay. Um, 
but it's you know I started this journey simply because I really really wanted to um, lower my a1c which was really high I was like at 9 9.1 or something like that and my blood sugar level which had gotten up to 333 and I thought ooh, high 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 no so you know I started this journey to do to lower that because you know what I know you know God's got a plan and no matter what I do, when it comes time to go, just let me get my lump to go bag and I gotta go. But if there's anything I can do while I'm still here to slow that process, to pause it a little bit, then I was out to do that. And so I was out to do what I could to get my type 2 diabetes under control or or better maintained, if you will. Okay, I'm, I'm human. Or like cats like to say, if cats could really talk, would they really say human? Human. Anyway, my mind's all over the place because I'm tired, y'all. My mom used to tell me that when I was sleepy and I'm tired, I get goofy and, and all over the place. So I am tired, okay? But let's talk about this last week, okay? First of all, let me go ahead and start with the weight. Let me go ahead and start with the weight. Again, 2.2 pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. It wasn't in the plan, okay? But when I look back over the week, even with the logging of the food, okay? Um, maybe not some of the best food choices, okay? Um, and the only thing that, you know, it probably stopped it at the 2.2 is because, you know, you can only eat so much on the Ozippy because that whole factor of, you know, it telling your brain to tell your stomach that you're full and then you stay full for a very long time so it wasn't like I was eating all day long but I will say that as usual as I get toward the end of my shot cycle because tonight is Tuesday I'm going to be taking my shot so the end of my shot cycle is pretty much like Friday, Saturday time frame and then Saturday, Sunday the cravings really set in and it takes everything I have to just not just go after what I want to eat. That's, I think, when my most not so healthy eating um, starts. Because at the beginning of the week, after I've taken my shot, excuse me, <clears throat> I'm more conscious. Um, I don't hear the food noise, as uh, those of us are on Ozempic tend to say. I I didn't know there was a food noise until you know I started this, but I don't hear the food noise as much um, once I take my shot in the beginning of the week, you know, of that shot cycle. But toward the end of it, the food noise is not so loud, so it's easy to ignore and say, you know, grill it or fry it. Oh, okay, I'm going with fried bread. Or a salad. Yeah, I'm going with the bread. So, you know, the food noise isn't as loud toward the end of the shot cycle. And the cravings, OMG, are ridiculous. At least they are for me. At least they are for me, okay? But I will say this, though. On the things that I've eaten that were probably too sweet and I shouldn't have had, they don't taste the same. There, there are things that I do enjoy, okay? Like I said once before in my other videos, and I'm about to put a pin in that one but um i you know i like twinkies my husband loves that i love a good twinkie but i already noticed that when i eat the twinkies then it kind of ramps up any nausea that i'm gonna feel the next day um and i'm not um blaming it on the ozipic the ozipic is doing what it's supposed to do okay um i i'm just not helping it by putting sweets in the body i'm i'm, I'm just keeping it real and i know that and i note that after I've had them. But I've also noticed that they don't taste the same. Because when I say I love a Twinkie, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Cake ain't got nothing on Twinkie, which is a cake, I know. But y'all know what I'm saying. Love my Twinkies, okay? But all they taste now to me, they're good, but they're sweet. Okay, and that's all I really taste when I eat them is sweet. I, You know, the best part of the Twinkie was the filling for me. But now, I don't know. I mean, I just kind of want to eat the cake, and y'all can leave the filling out. But again, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's the medicine trying to tell me you ain't got no business having this, or it's just that changes in my my appetite, my taste buds, my palate. Maybe that's changing. Cause um, I'm in a, uh, a couple of groups, and I've noticed that people are saying that some of their favorite foods, healthy or not, don't taste the same. And I get that because some of the foods that I really, really like just don't taste the same. Like, I love to make a good pan of smothered potatoes and onions. If you're from where I'm from, y'all know 
Y'all might call them um, potatoes and onions. My mother called them smothered potatoes, and it was so good. They're fried potatoes and onions. It's smothered. It's, it's yum. And they're still yum because I know I cook. But my food just, it tastes the same, but it's missing something. So I don't know what it is. It ain't stopping me from eating it. I'm going to tell you that right now. Anyway, so I know when I look back over this past week, what probably took me the 2.2 pounds over, okay? Um, and I can blame no one but me because you know what? I knew, I knew, and I just kept going. I just, I did what I wanted to do, and I know, and that's probably what got me in this, in this situation in the first place, okay? Um, so I get it. Learned my lesson. I got it. Because, I mean, I didn't get in on my feelings like I did the last time, but... Mm, I am an emotional eater, but I can't say that there was a lot going on that would force me to say, I gotta have some food. No, 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 no. Um, if anything, I'm excited because I'm getting closer to my cruise. I want to say I'm 39, 39 days away, maybe 40. Okay, we're almost there. Um, so I don't, I can't say it was an emotions that drove me to eat, but I know that the cravings were really, really strong this week, and I just did not ignore them. Okay, I ate, um, and I ate what I wanted to eat as much as I could. If, if you know, you know. Right? So, um, I I wanted to address the blame issue. Um, and if you're still here with me, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Put the notifications on, okay? Now, here, let me tell you something. I am, I'm a keep it real kind of sister. I really am. Um, because I see no reason, especially at my age, okay? I ain't got no reason to lie, sugarcoat, play around with nothing and nobody, okay? Um, the only person I have to answer to is my Lord and Savior, and we talk all day, and he got me. But when I started this, you know, interacting with you guys, I did it because I was led by my heart and my spirit to share what I'm going through so that I can maybe, just maybe, help somebody else who's on this journey so that they don't feel alone. I know I'm not by myself, but I'm just trying to help. That's all. That's all. And I do it in my own way. Now, maybe sometimes my words don't come together the way they supposed to, to get the point out, but I feel like you guys are, uh, are smart enough. You know what I'm saying? Like me, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm trying to say? So one of my other videos, someone watched it and, and that's what I want. And like, again, yeah, I say I like to take constructive criticism. So I am not really mad about what the person said because what was the point? He did exactly what he, they, wasn't it he? They did exactly what I asked him to do. Comment. You know, let me know what you're thinking. And because I think I mentioned the Twinkies last time and then how it made me sick because of the Ozempic, I guess that person took it to say that I was blaming the Ozempic for my nausea after eating the Twinkies when it was not the Ozempic, it was my, you know, my food choices. And I'm paraphrasing. I'm paraphrasing, okay? So I get it. But, you know, for like about five seconds, I was in my little feelings like, what the, what the, but then I said, you know what? Thank you. Thank you. Because now I want to make it clear. It, it, the, your comment, if you're watching tonight, love you. Truly, I love you. I really, really do. Um, Your comment led me to think, you know what, Tracy? Be clear. Be clear. So let me make this perfectly crystal. Crystal clear. Okay, I don't blame the Ozempic for anything that it's done outside what it's supposed to do. Because at this point, it has done exactly what I wanted it to do. I didn't start this journey to lose weight. Though I think gaining the weight is what got me here. But in any case, I did this because I wanted to lower my A1C. I wanted to lower my glucose levels. Because look, I'm thick. I'm a, I'm a thick chick. I look good too. Okay, I ain't fluffy. Not that there's anything wrong with fluffy. I'm just saying. I'm a thick chick. I got hips. I got a nice little junky bunk, bunk, bunk back there. You know, my husband has already told me that if I lose that, he's leaving me. He ain't going away, y'all. He ain't going away. But in any case, I would be okay being thick without being diabetic, okay? Because I have seen some large women, and I don't say that mean, like, that will outwalk me up a moving escalator, Okay? 
Okay, so I need to get in shape anyway. And if I can do that by maintaining or maybe reversing or recessing my type 2 diabetes, then I'm all for it. So when the option came up and I could do Munjaro or Ozempic or whatever I decided I was going to do to help me take that A1C down and that glucose level down, I was all for it because I love my life. I do, even on the bad days. I love my life and I want to be around as long as the good Lord will let me. Okay, and if that means taking care of my body, doing what I need to do, then you know what? I'm on that. I'm on that. The benefit, the cherry on top, the little bit of extra ice cream on the side, was that you could lose some weight. Now, everybody on was um, um, Ozempic does not lose weight, according to some of the people in my group, right? They don't always lose weight, or they only drop in a pound here and a pound there, or if anything at all. Okay, so it's not a guarantee because Ozempic is not a weight loss drug. It is prescribed for type 2 diabetics to lower their A1Cs and their blood glucose levels. So is Munjaro. Now, is that something they're going to figure out down the way and say, hey, it is a weight loss drug? Yes, maybe so. But right now, that's what the function is. Lowering your A1C, getting that blood glucose level down. Okay? That's what we're trying to do. Now, Wagovi. Wagovi is a weight loss drug. It's, it's weight loss drug. Okay. So, I said I'd like to say thank you. And I'm going to go back and look and see who you are for making that comment because I need the clarity because I don't want anybody to be led down a path of misunderstanding, confusion, blame, or anything else like that. All I want to do is share my experience, hoping that somebody says, oh, you know what? I, I, I know what you mean. I feel you. As a matter of fact, I'm glad you said something. That kind of thing. That's. I, I want this to be as if we were all sitting in our room, in a group, if you will, and we're talking about it. But girl, last week I was feeling this. I know. Did you? Yes, I did. That's the kind of conversation that I'm trying to have with you guys every week. And I'm hoping that I'm able to do that. And I'm hoping. And if I'm not, please point it out. Let me know if I'm saying something wrong. Point me in the right direction. You know what my pastor used to say, if you see me going down the wrong path, don't go with me. Pull me pull me back. So if I'm saying something I shouldn't say or that offends or anything else, like let me know. Don't just let me go on down my little merry way and it's wrong or it's hurtful or it's just plain old stupid. First of all, I don't do stupid. I don't do stupid. But you know what I'm saying. Pull me back, okay? Pull me back. So... Thank you. Thank you for your comment. I appreciate you. And I mean that with all sincerity from my heart. Okay. Now, I done gained the 2.2 pounds. So, now I'm 229.4 pounds. I, oh, Lord, how much. I, I'm really trying to get in the two, two, under 220 or less. And this did not help. Okay. But... It also urged me to get more steps in. Like I'm in D.C. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week. I am maxing out at least 7,000 steps a day. Um, and my goal when I'm home, like on Thursdays and Fridays, is to do at the minimum um, 3,000 steps. Okay? Um, I pulled up a walk video so I can get some more steps. It is only nine minutes, y'all. I can't even, I can't be that lazy. Nine minutes. You just walk in place. Do the, I mean, it, it's a little fun. It gave me a little, gave me a little of the sweats, but it works because it's nine minutes. I get some steps in and I'm good, right? So I'm working it out. Plus, plus with less than 40 days to go on this cruise, on this humongous boat that I'm going to be on, I'm going to have to get into the habit of walking because everything is not a, a hop, skip, and a jump away. I mean, yeah. Yeah, and I'm on the, what, 14th deck. Yeah, they got elevators, but come on now. So I got to get that walk in so I can have that endurance. So the 229.4 is where I am as of Monday, okay? Um, side effects? You know what? None. None. Even with the way I kind of like ate this week, no, none. I can't say I've had any kind of, oh my God, the nausea is ramping up. Nothing. The vomiting, I don't know if she's moved or not. She might not be on this block anymore. She might have moved, you know, a couple of apartment complexes away. I'm sure she's not far. But, nope, I haven't had any nausea really to, to complain about. Um, no diarrhea, no constipation, 
um, no headaches, exhaustion here and there, but I'm thinking that's just the way I, my sleep pattern has just been completely screwed up, and I really got to get that back in, um, because I know when I go in the house, it, it, like I said, it's all she wrote, um, yeah, I, mm, nothing, I feel good, but let me tell y'all, let me tell you, I'm putting on my clothes, okay, as I do every day, because apparently walking around here naked is against the law. But then when I look at some, you know what, I ain't finna go there. Anyway, um, so as I'm getting dressed every day, I'm looking in the mirror, and my mirror, the one I really didn't like, that full-length mirror, I'm, we, we, we starting to talk a little bit. You, we getting a little conversations going on, because I'm seeing the difference, okay? And people who I work with, who normally only see me maybe once a week, because we're all teleworking, and we're doing a hybrid situation, so on a day I might be there, you may not, or, you know, on the second day that I'm there, that may be the day you see me. It's, it's really weird working with my co-workers like that, but we got to do what we got to do, but they're looking at me, go, girl, look at you, and I said, thank you, polite, not thinking of just being polite, but then when I go into the most hated mirror in D.C., the one in the ladies' bathroom, because I really don't like it, I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, oh, oh my God, I'm still thick, y'all, still thick, still got the thighs, still got the hips, and the butt is still there, thank you for my marriage, but I'm slimming down here a little bit. Now I gotta do. I gotta work on these chunky arms. Here's my my um, freestyle libre. This is my um, glucose monitor thing that I use, and I've got the freestyle libre too, which allows me to connect with my doctor so that he can see my readings. So I haven't said that. I have an endocrinologist appointment on the seventh of August. Don't ask me why it's so far out, but it is so we could talk about the readings okay so i don't know where that's gonna go because um using the app that i use after i've you know logged in my um my sugar levels let's just say it like that because i'm trying to i'm trying to look for the big words but once i've monitored my sugar i put it into this app called <laughs> my sugar um and shout out to the lady who gave me the idea for that because after you've you know monitored you you put your, your readings in, um, you get a estimated um, A1C. So my estimated A1C has gone as low as 6.7 to 7.1. So I'm in that range as far as those readings are. Um, my blood test that I took, which will be about three months when I see the doctor, it was at 8.6, which is still better than the 9, 9.1, I think it was, when I you know, I started this. So it's doing what it's doing. Ozipic is working just fine. Um, I don't know if I want to be pumped up to another dose because you know, you know how when, you know how when you know you can do something when you study for a test when you're in school. Can we remember back that far? Can we? Can you go back that far with me? When when you were in school and you studied for a test and you got like a B minus or a C on it, and even though you're like, okay, you passed, you were good. You you know, you know, you know, and you know, you know. Okay, that you could have done better because you could have studied a little bit harder. You could have did a little more research and you didn't. And you came out with a decent grade, okay? You passed and you're good. But you could have you you, you probably could have got an A or a B plus. I mean, you could have done a lot better. That's how I feel on the Olympics. So I you know, I can't blame anybody but myself if the numbers aren't going down fast enough or even if the weight um, is going down fast enough. You know what? I might just be one of those people who are somewhere in between those who don't lose any weight and those who lose a substantial amount of weight. Maybe I'm in the middle. It's like, eh, drop a pound here. Eh, drop a pound here. Uh, give them back to it. I don't know. But I do know that I can't say that this is not working for me because I haven't really been diligent on my part, I haven't done the homework. I have not studied as hard as I could to get the A. So I can't blame anybody. I can't be mad at the scale. I can't be mad at anyone but moi because, like I said, I might eat a burger. And I'm going to always eat a burger. Ain't no flipping way I'm going to put a piece of meat on some... on A, a burger without the bread is meatloaf 
So stop trying to tell me, you can have the burger, just take the bread. I'm not doing that. I know how to make meatloaf. And it don't entail lettuce, tomato, onion, mayonnaise, a little extra cheese. No, that's a burger on a sesame seed bun. Meatloaf, I can serve with a salad. So, yeah, no, we're not going to do this. If I'm going to have a burger, I'm going to have a burger, okay? But um, I'm, I'm trying. I could try better. And, you know, eventually I'm going to get to the point where I'm getting tired of being tired of being tired and I'm going to do better so and with you guys help support because you guys have been amazing um, and I'm loving you for it and I'm and I'm thinking that you're here with me so don't forget to like sh uh, share and subscribe let me tell you what happened to me uh, yesterday okay now yesterday was what's today Monday oh this was my shoot I already gained two pounds I'm gonna eat it anyway thing for lunch okay so this is what happened I walked, I had to have a hot dog, okay? And before pandemic, there was a guy that was a hot dog stand right outside the building I work out, work in. But he's been gone for a while, right? Hadn't really come back since the pandemic. But up the block a little bit is another hot dog stand. So let's get some steps in, let's walk, get out in the hot, 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 hot sun and walk. So I walk and I go get my lunch and I had a pole of sausage um, and some chips, all right? So... Okay, I had two pull of sausages. Dang. Anyway, I'm on my way back to the office. And this is where I was like, oh, what? I'm on my way back to the office. And I'm passing some construction workers or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I got cat called, y'all. I am a happily married woman. And my husband cat calls me on the regular. Okay, okay. But um, these guys are like, hey, hey, look at you, beautiful. Hey. And I was like, what? Me first, I'm thinking, are they talking to me? So I did the whole. Oh, they talking to me, so I got cackle. That made me feel good because I can, like I said, I can see the difference. Okay, I, am I felt like that? No, I'm never gonna be like that. I look like a bobblehead like that, but I can see the changes in my body, and um, and it's starting to look good. Okay, it ain't two piece bikini good, but it's starting to look good. Okay, so I was like, oh my god, they were. Oh, stop. So that, that kind of pepped up my day. Um, didn't make me feel any less guilty about eating the polo sausage. I'm going to tell you that right now. I ate two-thirds of them, okay? Because I, I couldn't get the rest of it down. So it was really a waste of money. But um, I thought, you know what? I gained two pounds. I'm still looking good. The numbers are going down. And I was cat called. So there was the silver lining and all that. So I say that to say, don't let yourself get down if the numbers aren't moving in the direction you want as fast as you want them to. If you're not losing weight, okay, it could be for a plethora of reasons. This may be a, a, a drug that's not meant to help you lose weight because that's not what it was prescribed for anyway right you're wanting to bring those numbers down so you can be around longer to go ahead and do what you need to lose that weight okay but um maybe it's not supposed to help you lose weight like that or maybe you plateaued which means even outside the ozempic world if you're trying to lose weight and you're doing a healthy diet and a little bit of exercise and it's working but you plateau you know what that means you gotta pump it up you got to pump up that exercise be a little more diligent um, in, in your eating habits because your body's figured out that you're trying to figure it out. And they're like, oh no, wait a minute. Mm -mm, we just gonna, we're gonna eat on the reserves so we can maintain the weight we want you to be at. But you're gonna have to pump up your game, upgrade it, pump up some more exercise so that you can get to where you wanna be as far as your body. So don't let it get you down. Don't let it get you down because most of us, it didn't happen overnight. It's not going to go away overnight. It's not going to go away in the first five, six months, okay? But it's going to go away with our due diligence, our healthy eating habits, support from those we love and those we don't know because strangers are best friends I haven't met yet. And we could do this. We have got this. I've got this. And if I've got this, y'all got this, okay? I know. We're going we gonna, to we gonna get this all together. So I'm going to go. I have to remind you for like the no about the third or fourth time like comment subscribe and share share the video share the video um 
so that we can get more people in our group. If I had to build a bigger house, we'll build a bigger house. We'll do the Waltons thing, you know, where everybody's here because I want to help as many people as I can because there's a lot of people who have helped me along the way. And so I'm just paying it forward. So in the meantime, in between time, until I see you guys again next week on Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay, um, y'all enjoy this beautiful weather. It's hot, I know. Stay cool, stay hydrated. Um, and I'll see you next week right here on TKTV. Bye.